What's up everybody? I am Fig and welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out Pet Ranch Simulator 2. Another update has just dropped, update number 4. And we're going to be checking it out in today's video to see what kind of stuff they added because there was some stuff that I was not expecting. And I'm going to show you guys what kind of stuff they added and see if it's cool or not. So let's go check it out. Let's go. So one of the first things they added, guys, is down here at the bottom right, as you can tell, it says invite friends. So the more friends you have playing with you, the more coins you can get up to 20% max for every friend that you play with, you're going to get more coins. So invite some friends to play with you by clicking this right here. Your friends list is going to pop up and you're going to be able to invite some friends and uh, hopefully they'll play with you and don't annoy them too much by spamming them or whatever, but <laughs> keep inviting friends and the more friends you get to play with you, the better. So there you go. So guys, the next thing they added into the game is some new login pets right here. They added three new ones, one for 40 days, one for 55 days, and then one for 70 days. So the more you play, then you can get these pets right here. So go ahead and play as much as you can. And then once you hit these, these days right here, then you can get some new pets. So there you go. So the next thing they added into the game, guys, I was not expecting it at all. But here you go right here. If you go to the ranch, there's a pet inventory space upgrade button here. So you can upgrade with your ranch coins how many pets you can have in your inventory. So you can get 20 at a time. And my first one costs 150. And then every time you use it, it goes up by a little bit. But now you can have 20 pets every time you click that upgrade button. So that's pretty good. I was not expecting that at all. And then, of course, they added a new premium pet. So if you go over here to the shop, you can see right here it's the Wise Wizard ends in 25 days but you can get this one right here which actually looks really cool and if you have a bunch of robux there you go get the wise wizard and help you get some more coins and stuff and this next thing this is something i was definitely not expecting them to add but there's now a competition kind of thing going on here in pet ranch so once you go here to the menu and then go to leaderboard you're going to see right here in the bottom it says competition click on that and now for getting on the 1000 weekly rebirth leaderboard you're gonna get rewards. So the top 10 get this special edition vampire bat statue for your ranch. Here's the next one here. You get a glass vampire bat statue for reaching the top 100. And if you get in the top 1,000, you get this stone vampire bat statue just by getting on the top 1,000 of the leaderboard. So I haven't got on any of those at all lately, but if you go here to the weekly leaderboard, you're gonna see that you're gonna have to get a lot, a lot of rebirths to get on this leaderboard. I have 90,000. And just to get onto the top 1,000, you're going to have to get, let's see here, uh, 615,000 so far. So you're going to have to get a lot of reverse just to get on that. And it resets every, I think every week. So there you go. Good luck, guys. Try to get some of this cool stuff here just by rebirthing. And then, of course, there are some new codes. Actually, I think there's only one new code. But if you go over here to codes, you're going to have to put in update 4. And that's going to give you, I think, a coin boost. Yes, right there. You get actually 15 minutes this time. A double x coin boost right there so go ahead and use that one and then of course guys if you want to use my code i have for this game it's fixture just like that and that's also going to give you a 10 minute coin boost so go ahead and use both those codes guys if you want to get some coins and rebirth to get on that weekly leaderboard so good luck and the last thing to add into the game guys is a new tier 8 egg right here it costs 65,000 rebirths just to get a chance to get these eggs right here they do cost 11,500 Reaper tokens a piece, so that's quite a bit. If you haven't got any of those Reaper tokens, it's going to take you quite a while to get that. But they added, let's see here, six, seven new pets. And, of course, the Shinies and Starries and, of course, a new Mythic right there. So let's go ahead and open a bunch of these and see what we can get. Let's do it. Innocent Spider Honeybee. There's a Timber Giraffe. There you go, I got a legendary, a Sunstone Golem. And the Dreaming Owl, there's the epic. Okay guys, so I just used almost a million Reaper tokens and I only got these pets right here. I'm gonna equip them and show you what they are, but I didn't get this last legendary and then of course this mythic. Uh, so these are gonna take quite a while for me to get, so hopefully here real soon, I'm gonna bring you a video where I'm gonna try to get this last legendary and of course this last mythic. So let's equip these pets and see what they look like. So here we are now back at the ranch and let's check out these pets and see what they look like. Here is the shiny innocent spider. It looks pretty cool, kind of basic, but not too bad. Here is the other one. This one looks actually pretty cool. This is a legendary sunstone golem, not too bad. Here is a starry timber giraffe, not too bad. I don't know why it's sad. I have no idea. And then here is the other one that looks pretty cool. Actually, this is the starry honeybee. 
with the wings and stuff like that. So not too bad. These pets actually look pretty decent. So, oh, and here is the uh, Dreaming Owl. So there's that last one right there. So not too bad for uh, tier eight eggs. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Just wanted to bring you this quick update just to show you what kind of stuff they added into the game. I'm really liking the competition stuff, and I'm li liking the invite friends boost thing that they added into the game to kind of make you want to invite some friends and play and all that good stuff like that. So not too bad of an update. I'm um, excited that they're adding new stuff to the game. I'm just wishing they could do it a little bit quicker so we can keep people playing the game, and hopefully we can bring some more and new players into the game. So, yeah, anyways. That'll do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and drop a like down below and all that good stuff like that. I'll talk to you all soon, and thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.